everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today's video is another style video and it's a bit of a follow on from a previous video I did about a red M&S skirt that I bought, which is amazing. If you haven't seen the video, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below, so don't panic, it will all make sense. But I'm gonna talk about some more Marks and Spencer skirts this video, and more specifically about a very controversial suede midi skirt that M&S have in their autograph collection. So I've got a hair. And their autograph collection this season. It's um, been a bit of a talking point. Alexa Chung wore it a few months ago and everyone said how amazing she looked but a lot of people on Twitter and on the blog sphere were saying great Alexa Chung looks wonderful in it but I won't. Well I actually think this is a really versatile skirt. It's really pricey at £199 so I get that it's not in everyone's budget but I've been telling my clients and also just talking to people on Twitter and saying Yes, it is expensive, but it's one of those key classic pieces that you'll have in your wardrobe and be able to pull out time and time again. Not only can you use it this summer, but also it'll take you right through to winter and you can change it up with a jumper, put boots and tights with it, and it's really versatile. So I've created this video to show you five summer looks to give you an idea of how you can wear this suede skirt and to show you that it is actually more wearable than people think. I get that it's expensive, so I've put links in the description box below to two cheaper options that Marks and Spencers actually have that are fake suede, um, they've got a grey and a similar colour to this one and I think they're really really a good option if you can't afford the £199 which is to be expected for some of us but also I've got another option to show you if it's the A-line midi part of the skirt that you really really like then M&S also have this denim one in their limited edition um, collection and this is a much cheaper £35 Again, it's got that 70s vibe, so it's perfect for spring, summer. I've used the same tops that I've styled the suede skirt um, with this denim option. So you can see how you can use a denim skirt to kind of replace that suede option if you can't afford it or you don't really like suede. Um, I hope you like the outfits. Take a look now. For the first look, I've just used a simple sleeveless cropped t-shirt. You can dress it up for the evening, but also works during the day as well. It also works fabulously with this denim skirt for that cheaper option. Of course, the denim's never gonna be quite as exciting as the suede, but for an everyday look, works really well. Then going for a Breton stripe. I've used a knitwear option for this because the suede's a quite heavier fabric, so I think the, the knit version works really well with the suede. It becomes much more nautical when you pop it with the denim, but equally, it really flatters this skirt shape and works tucked in or out. A really simple cold shoulder top tucked into this suede skirt gives it a real 70s vibe. I've used a pop of colour on the shoe to make it more exciting. But then when you pop it with the denim, it equally works for that spring-summer idea. You get your shoulders out, get a bit of sun and look super stylish at the same time. Simple denim shirt always works with every skirt. If you've got a denim shirt and you're worried about what to wear it with, it goes with everything and it works really well with this suede. Also, double denim is fine. Some people are scared, but double denim is absolutely fine for spring, summer, and again, it's that 70s feel that we're all loving this summer. I've then opted for just a simple white tee and a really cute little blazer shape. Perfect for a workwear look. If you add it with the denim option, it obviously becomes a bit more relaxed and a bit more weekendy, maybe out for a brunch with the girls. What did you think of the outfits? I'd love to know your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more style videos in the future. And also tweet me at Wacy Style if you want to start a conversation about this amazing or controversial suede skirt from Marks and Spencers. See you next time.